Hi, it's Jake Ten, and I'm with Simon G of Echelon and uh, we're going to take you behind the scenes and talk about how we made a DIY music video at a pyramid standing at none other than Scotland. Yo, what's up? It's Jake Ten. So this week we're going to be filming a music video. They're just loading up the stuff right now. We'll catch you in a bit. How did you choose the location? I think I just found it in a doom scroll, just come up with a location in my timeline once and I just saw it, screenshotted it, about going there. We just made it to Bolton, we've been driving for five hours from Cambridge. Tomorrow we properly set off to go to Scotland. Got about a seven, eight hour drive ahead of us tomorrow, so we're gonna leave at 7 a.m. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some sleep, offload some footage, make sure I'm ready for tomorrow, and we will see you then. So heading into this music video, we really didn't have an idea of what to expect. But you'll see it as you come around this corner, there's a forest shaped like a cock. <laughs> Yo, what's up? So we're in Scotland now. We've got two hours left of driving and then we're going to be there finally. Um, it's been a long drive, but we're almost there. We knew that it was going to be a long journey, we knew that it was going to be a slog, but we really didn't have any idea as to what we was getting ourselves into. When we first arrived you could just see the uh, the, the tiny little pyramid in the, uh, in the background and it was like, okay cool, this thing is actually happening. Yo, what's up? So we're finally here. As you can see behind me, Simon has spotted the pyramid. Cool, so when we did arrive, uh, we decided to take a hike up to the top of the pyramid. Um, we thought that it would be a small journey. So we're halfway there now, been about a mile and a half walking in the woods up a hill. We've got one last incline to go. Can't wait to get to the top and see their reactions. So I'm just gonna show you that real quick and then we'll see you at the top. Yeah, so it was a good hour, hour and a half uh, journey up this mountain that just never seemed to end. Wow, so um, we're still going up the hill. I want to say we're now halfway up a hill that is massive. Did not anticipate this. I'm out of breath. I think the guys have really got to struggle with this and we've still got one more massive hill all the way up there. But I think that's the last one. Don't take my words on that though. However, when we got to the top of the hill, uh, when you see the pyramid for the first time, it is quite an unbelievable feeling. And just, yes, yeah, just surreal really. Awesome, so we finally made it. I am exhausted, I can't wait to see the guys' reactions, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to go spy on them. See you soon. <laughs> so Simon, you've just made it up the hill, how does that feel? I'm fucked. Absolutely fucked. Yeah? How was that for you, Miles? Never again. Never again. <laughs> you ready to do it again? How no. many more times? <laughs> yeah. Three, four? It's got to be done. It's got to be done. <laughs> James, you, well, you're a machine. You've gone up this hill twice or three times carrying stuff. How are you feeling? Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice walk. <laughs> <laughs> At least that makes one of us, so. Right, so what's up? Uh, we're on day two of being in Scotland, so I didn't talk to you last night or much of today, mostly because it's been so busy. Last night, me and Simon, we scoped the mountain out again, so we walked in not only once, but twice that day, carrying all the camera gear. It's been quite the feat, but no, I'm really stoked. We got some really, really awesome footage, so we're literally just ingesting that now. We'll see you tomorrow, and uh, yeah, wish us luck. What's up guys, so it's day four of my adventure, day two of filming for the music video. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown MTV crib style of uh, how I'm living for the next 10 days. Let me show you the van. Cool, so this is where I'm sleeping. It's got really harsh lights, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is the front of the van. Um, I've got my bags in here at the moment. We've got the kitchen down there, so I've got salad, Hot noodles, we've got some bread, we've got nutrition bars, we're keeping it real. Right, so this is the sink. We've got our coffee cups in there. 
over here is our charging station. You can see the drones on charge, we've got um, lights on charge, we've got cameras on charge. This is also where we upload the footage each night and Simon sleeps in here. Cool, so we just got to the top of the mountain for filming day two. You can see the pyramid is right behind me. It might be blown out because it's super sunny. Um, but yeah, I just went for the guys to get up here and then we're gonna get going. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Cool, so we've just film, uh, finished filming for the day. This is day two. Um, so we've done some drone shots. We've uh, done some more daytime shots with the guitarist. So one of the challenges that we faced while shooting this music video, because it was April and we're in the Midlands, Highlands of Scotland, it's very, very cold. Yeah, jeez, it's wet. Oh yeah. Oh man. I thought he was a rock star. Oh, I'm not. I quit. <laughs> I'm spending 16 hour days until, you know, the early hours of the morning. Uh, we had to make our own fires and you could definitely see um, that the guys were having a difficult time with it. But they were troopers. He's got coffee, look at this, coffee in the woods. <laughs> Darren is hooked on either shit, right? Today we've got a really exciting addition. We've got Nima, formerly of Fell Silence and Monuments. Two of my favorite bands when I was growing up, a vocalist that I really took inspiration from, from his vocal styles. For me personally, this is a really cool experience. Big up Simon G for sorting this out. We're really excited. We've shot most of the individual band shots now, so we're gonna be focusing on B-roll, Nima's parts, and then we've got an extra day tomorrow for any pickups. So yeah, it should be quite fun today. A bit less stressful. It's still gonna be a lot of work, so we'll catch you in a bit. Nice one. Me and Nima have been friends for years. James showed Nima all our EP and stuff, basically, and Nima was super impressed. And then about two weeks later, we recorded Helios, and that's uh, pretty much when we hit, hit him up and said, do you want to do, do a guestie for us? And then, yeah, it just worked out like that, basically. Right, so we just got uh, back to the bottom of the hill. I've just uh, walked the whole distance with the gimbal and the rig. After a whole day of filming, I am absolutely exhausted, so I'm gonna put this thing away and I will catch up with you guys later. That is a shag wagon. Well done, everyone. One day left, yeah. or at least here anyway, so. Also, it's the end of day. It's refilming, I believe. Just finished with Nima. I'm absolutely exhausted. We're in the van. But this is where I've been sleeping. So I'm gonna show you how hot it is to get to bed. This In. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Yo, what's up? So, yeah, final day of filming. We're halfway up the hill. I'm absolutely exhausted. We've got the last little bit to go up there. You can see I'll show you what I'm lugging about so we've got a camera bag tripod all the lenses gimbals drone more stuff that's where we come from absolutely beautiful oh my god final one we're finally here last day of filming I'm so exhausted but it feels great that we never had to do this again. So we're gonna take half an hour of reset 
and then we're going to put the boys to work. See you soon. How was that final walk for you, Simon? Good. I'm glad it's the last one. But I need to find all my shit I left up here last night. <laughs> Cool, so um, we've been up the mountain at the pyramid for about three hours now and every time we try to get a shot there seems to be people. We've been really lucky the past four days, um, so it's a bit frustrating. Luckily we've got most footage, hopefully we'll get some clearance. I've got some coffee that the boys have kindly made me, so um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Yo, yeah, I'm Simon. Hi, mate. Hello, I'm not sure. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you right? Yeah, man, how'd you sleep? Not great, but all right. Yeah, nice. Just enough to drive fucking, I don't know, seven, eight hours. Like that. We're actually nine hours from home, so probably not going to make it back today. Um, let's hit the spoons and see how we feel. Do some drugs a lot, Roman. And then, yeah, I have a bolt in the morning, I'll get late. One or two. Yo, 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 what's up? So we are on day number seven of my adventure. Got the campsite behind me. Boys are packing up. We're going to be heading back down towards Cambridge. Probably stopping off at Bolton tonight. Um, it's been seven days since I've had a shower. Seven days since a hot meal. So we're going to hit weather springs up. Um, hopefully that makes us feel better. But yeah, we're generally vibing, um, surviving and having fun. Here you go, son. Oh, in the fucking eye. Thank you. Yo, so we've made it to Spoons. This is first time back in civilization in about six days. Usually I'd just go for coffee, but I've got to reset, so here we go. I spoke too soon, my boys, Miles. Already on here, mate. Cheers. Already with you. Simon G's first proper meal in about a fucking week. Big step. I haven't seen civilization in a week. <laughs> look, look, look at all those pyramids, there's a theme going on here. So I've gone for bangers and that for breakfast, because we need comfort food. Miles says, bought the kitchen out. The dampness. I wish I had the summer tea yeah. now. Yeah. Ah. For the drum location, we had no idea uh, really where we're shooting. I've, I've driven around Loch Lomond a million times in the past, and I knew there was loads of little sort of stop off phase where you can just pull up and they're all pretty isolated. So I just thought, you know, I've seen it in the past, I've seen it in my head, I'll literally just drive around it until I find the perfect spot. Yo, what's up? So we just got to uh, a place in Loch Lomond. We've been driving about an hour and a half around here, trying to find a spot. There's been a lot with people in, but we've managed to find this tidy little location around here. So I'm just going to show you, um, but we're just going to give it a shot and wait until we get kicked out. Boom. Uh, I'll be honest, I was a bit nervous because uh, all the places that we were potentially scouting out, there were people there, I um, was worried about getting kicked out. So we did bump into some park rangers. You gonna join the music video? And it turns out that uh, they did not want to kick us out, but they were the nicest guys. They just wanted to check if we had a camping permit. When we mentioned that we wanted to shoot a music video, um, they basically said, please do. Yeah, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, if we're ever playing. Yeah. Go on, mate. Yeet that thing into his head, mate. Go on, I'll get it on cams. <laughs> we have just finished filming the uh, the drum parts, uh, just for one location. We've still got a full bad shoot to do. This is, guys, let me know. We technically, what day of filming is this? I have no idea. <laughs> but this is Lock Longman behind us. Coming through with all the goods. This is so. Fire this deep. man now! It's looking great out here. This is just incredible. Just taking a moment to just take this all in. I did, I'm not going to lie, had a moment of panic. We thought we lost the drone footage, but we checked it straight away and it's there. So we can breathe and live another day. So make sure you format your cards every night. The one night we didn't, uh, we ran out of space, obviously. There you go. See you later. Right, 
so we've finished filming but now we've got the uh, problem of unloading and reloading the van stacking it like tetris um, and getting us all in as well holy shit that's really cool Cool, so we're just on our way back from Scotland to Bolton and then we're going to go Bolton to Cambridge. We found a McDonald's, which I'm super stoked about. Usually I'm not so much, but pot noodles can only take you so far. We're going to get back probably about half one, two in the morning, get some sleep, go up to Cambridge. But today's been really, really good and we'll catch up with you more on that later. So we had uh, one last part of the music video to film and that was the fire scene so that involved us driving back down to Cambridge and then resetting with a shower. I'm greased up like yeah. a slime ball. The disgusting animal that I am comes out today. Yo, so what's up? We're back at Simon G's place. We've had how long of a drive, Simon? We've just burned through 160 pounds worth of fuel since last night or yesterday. 600 odd miles, easy. A long drive from mid Scotland all the way back down, stopping off at Bolton. But we've had our first shower in, well, for me, eight days. I feel like a new man. I feel like <laughs> I've shed a whole person off me. That's a whole different thing. And it feels great. And we've got our last shoot tomorrow. But Simon's going to make some falafel wraps tonight. I'm super excited about that. Like I said, we've been living off pot noodles. Um, we have had the occasional Weatherspoons and Greggs, but there's nothing better than a home cooked meal especially when it comes from Simon G. Awesome. See ya. Hi, mate. Last day. Last fucking day, boys. Yeah, how are we feeling? Red? I'm all right. Tired to put, I'm getting there. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it through, Yeah, I promise. Cool, so it's the last day. We're gonna go make a fire and shoot the last band full shots and some individual shots, and then we're gonna breathe. Higher Jake 10, yeah? We've just got to the top of the hill. We've just been location scouting around here. We've finally found a location just behind me. So we're gonna start setting up fire stuff. Around 6 p.m. the guy should be bringing the drum kit and then we'll start setting up. But we're taking advantage of the light so we can uh, see what we're doing and take our sweet time. This is real. This has been a long process and I really, really am excited to see what happens. So this final scene's gonna be sick. See you in a bit. We spent the entire day building a whole fire scene because we wanted three separate fires one massive one as a backdrop two other ones creating symmetry cool so it's hailing down outside I managed to find some shelter in the woods there's been this convenient structure that's been made so we've got my bag in here i'm chilling but yeah we're gonna go back out there and make some fire so we're ready for later positive energy it, hopefully this stops hopefully this doesn't get in the way it's literally the last shoot so fingers crossed Cool, so the storm has stopped. The boys have made the fire significantly bigger. We're just gonna go search to make two mini fires and then we've got to lug the uh, drum kit up here, meet up with Miles, meet up with our good friend Dan, who's been helping out with this. So shout out to Dan. But yeah, plenty more to do. Last scene, baby. I'll just say put the cunt on. Yeah! Bunch of little meaty. Yes, look at how this is all coming together. Last time. Yeah, man, I feel roll. Can just want to go home and get in bed, don't we? <laughs> That's the attitude, isn't it? <laughs> Simon. Yo. So, the fires are looking really cool. Yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling about it all? Uh, great. That's what I want. Hey, man, man, Big man. old fire, mate. You've got symmetry this way, you've got symmetry that way, you've got symmetry that way. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, I'm trying to think it under here. Beast of rock. Hey. Fucking grafting. 
Awesome, so we've finished building the fires. We're losing daylight now, so we're just waiting for Mars to get here with his drum kit. We've still got to slog that up the hill, but they're looking sick. I want to show you around. We're going to have some pretty meaty boys, so let's get it. So we've just brought most of the drum kit up from the parking lot, which is about a 10, 10 minute walk. First time we did it was about a half an hour walk because we took the wrong way and it was muddy. Hello, mate. Hello. You're from the arse, are you? Yeah. <laughs> when we did get to lighting the fire, we had a lot of trouble. Yeah, it was, it was quite stressful. That last minute, we weren't sure if the fire was going to go up. A lot of the wood got super, super moist and damp, but we decided to persevere. But we'd spent so much effort getting to uh, make this final shot that we just had to make the shot happen. So we finally got the fire going. However, the fire decided to not last very, very long. So we had to be really, really quick with deciding how we were going to shoot. We had to get those wide shots. We had to get those close ups. Um, and we, I think we only had about five or six takes in total to get yeah. everything. But it was worth it. We got the shots, we got what we needed. Cool, so if you haven't checked it out already, the music video is up now live. It's on the website. Um, there'll be a link in the description for the website link. So yeah, make sure you check it out. Hopefully you enjoy the hard work behind it. If you don't, hopefully you just enjoyed watching this video and uh, seeing a little bit more behind the scenes, what goes on um, to make these things happen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.